There's recently been a lot of questions about how you can add a pop-up calendar on Excel spreadsheet, similar to what Google has done it this way. So here I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can actually set those up in your typical good old Excel here. So the first thing you have to do is to go to developer tab and go to add in. If your developer tab is not here, right click anywhere on the ribbon, customize the ribbon and you'll come up with this. In here, make sure that the developer is checked on like this and click OK and your developer tab should be available. Once you have the developer tab, go to add in. In here, you're going to click on either store or office store like this and then on the search bar you're gonna type date like this and hit enter once that's done a mini calendar and a date picker will come up here click on add and then click on continue and this what it does is that it will add you the uh, little miniature calendar here I'm just gonna resize it and over here I'm gonna press this X to hide this configuration menu here just like this and you'll look something like that and if you want to reposition your mini pop-up calendar just click on the black line not on this line here anywhere here but click on this black line and just move it anywhere you want it doesn't matter right now you can leave it anywhere you want and then after that once that's done we're gonna to have to name this object or the shape go to home and then go under editing go to find and select and see, click on the uh, selection panel here like this and right now the name for this object is add-in one we're just gonna change it to maybe call it calendar like that and hit enter once that's done we're just gonna close this guy here and then uh, next thing we're gonna have to do is to add a VBA script right click on your uh, worksheet here and then click on uh, view code this should open up a VBA editor here and one thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you are on the right sheet. My sheet number is 199 and this 199 here. And after that, go to pull down, worksheet, and this particular subroutine should appear. In here, you're going to enter the following script. I'll leave the script in the description, but if you want a quick response or if you want me to send you a script, uh, please write in a comment and I'll send you the script on the comment itself. Uh, one thing to note over here is that uh, this D2 and E18 is the range for my calendar here. So if I click anywhere here from D2 all the way to E18, the calendar will pop up. But if I click anywhere outside, the calendar pop up will be ignored. I'll show you what I mean by that shortly. And I think that you want to change, you want to customize it, is that I did call my calendar object calendar itself. If you change this to maybe call it date time calendar, you're going to have to change this text, this text, this text, and this text. So those two are the uh, settings that you're going to have to do. This one in particular, this is what you must change. Let me show you D2 and D8, E18 here. So next thing you're going to have to do is press Ctrl S to save it. And let's close the VBA editor like this. Now if you click anywhere on your worksheet, your mini calendar will disappear. But if you click anywhere from D2 to E18, the mini calendar will appear. Let me show you. Click on it. You see the mini calendar up here. Select the date and the date get populated here. And then let's say click another one over here. Select the date, the date get populated, and so on.